So I snagged a Cassie skirt out of our inventory and we love pairing the Carly with the Cassie. What I did with the Carly dress is I tucked it in all around. Just a little bit of fabric so it's still covering all the important stuff for me. So I thought that was really cute and really easy. Um, the other thing, like I mentioned, that we like to do with the Cassie skirt is just a simple knot. And this is probably the easiest and fastest way to style your Carly. So you're just gonna take um, the hemline at the bottom. Um, we like to do it right at our hip, sort of skewed to the side a little bit. So take that fabric and grab it with your hand. And the other hand, you kind of just pull up on the material. So you get this long ponytail and then twist the ponytail a little bit and then wrap it around into a knot. And you can always let the fabric, the material that comes through there hang out, or we like to tuck it under and in. So that's another really cute way, if it wants to stay for me, another cute way to style the Carly over top of a Cassie. So that's quick. Um, the next one that's also really easy and simple is to just take some material on the underside and this you can place pretty much anywhere. Um, so it works, I really like it at the empire waist, right under my bust. Um, really what you wanna do is place this uh, tie wherever the smallest part of your waist is to really accentuate that. It also looks really nice, again, on the hip where that knot that I just showed you um, but I'll quickly do it here. So you're just gonna take a little bit of a ponytail on the underside of the fabric, put in your hair tie really quickly, oops, and then let it go. So that's really easy, this rouging effect. Again, it works in lots of different places. Play around with it, see where it works best. It also looks really great in the small of your back, on the back of the Carly. So that's another good spot to do that rouge tie. Um, the quarter. There's a couple different things to do with the quarter, so I'll do all of them now. The one that you can do is to put the quarter in, and I like this one with either one quarter or three quarters, and you just simply tie around on top of that. And now you have a little button effect. Really easy, and you can also do that with a really large button. Any of those will work. And then my other trick for the quarter is a new one. It's the bow tie. Super easy. So you're gonna take um, two different um, pieces of the material where you want your bow tie to be. So I'm gonna kinda just do it in the middle here so it's easier to show you. And you're just gonna secure a ponytail. You can make the bow as large as you want it. And I'm gonna put the quarter on the underside of my bow there, right in between the two ponytails that I've just made, okay? And then I'm going to take a third hair tie and I'm gonna wrap this around the whole thing. So I'm gonna get both of those ponytails that I made and my quarter in there somehow. And then I have a cute little bow. Hopefully that you can see that. I made mine really small, but um, the cool thing about Carly and when I said it was so versatile is that you can wear so many different sizes. This is true of most LuLaRoe, by the way, that you should always shop by pattern and color. If you fall in love with a pattern and it's not quite your exact perfect size, don't let that stop you, especially in the Carly. Um, you can also belt it. Super easy, very simple and very fast. I guess this one's maybe just a little bit faster than even the knot. And again, you wanna place this belt on the smallest part of your waist. I am very straight down all the way, so Empire tends to be the most flattering for my body. So that's really easy, and that's another good way to um, make it a little bit more elevated for the office on the Carly. Um, <clears throat> let's see, we can also do cover-ups. So I have tonight a Lindsay kimono, which is one of my favorite styles. So just a really cute kimono that has some coordinating color in the print that looks great with my dress. You can also do the Sarah cardigan, which is the duster. Um, you can also do non-LuLaRoe. We love a denim jacket. We love a chambray shirt. 
um, knotted over top of it, and also just a regular cardi. So a little black knit cardi, usually the one that you're most comfortable wearing. Um, you can also layer it with a top. So I'm just gonna grab a classic tee out of the closet, out of the boutique. This is a medium classic tee. A lot of times I like to wear the tops backwards, so I'm gonna turn it around. The tag is in the front. This comes up a little bit higher now because I have it turned around, but I love how the Cassie, or I'm sorry, the Carly is peeking out a little bit. And then I like to just take the top and do another simple knot or a tie. You can use a hair tie here too and just knot it over top of the Carly. And this is an instant, another instant waistline for the Carly dress. Super cute, really stylish, really trendy in the fall. Pair this with a denim jacket, you're good to go. Okay, um, I don't know how many I'm on, but I feel like I might be showing you 11. Oh, I didn't include plain. I hate that term because it sounds boring, but we adore the Carly dress worn just as is. It's super comfortable. It's like wearing a big, huge nightgown or t-shirt all day long, and it's acceptable. In the wintertime, pair it with leggings and a Sarah duster, just as is, and you are all set. Layers and warmth, especially for the Northeast here. Uh, so I think the last one that I haven't shown yet is one that we designed called the Bustle Tie. This one is also another easy one and it resembles the bustling that happens on the back of a wedding dress. Um, so you're just gonna figure out sort of where you want the bustle to fall. I'll just put it in the middle here because I'm wearing it over a Cassie skirt. This one brings up the length quite a bit so you're gonna wanna layer with a skirt or leggings. And then I'm just gonna hold on to the material right underneath my fingertips and fold it over. So I've got two layers of material and then directly below that, or I guess now above it, I'm gonna take the hemline, lay it over top of those two pieces that I had in my hand. And then I'm just gonna make it into a little bit of a V so I can secure it with a hair tie. And then I let the material flop over and then you kinda of just fix it so it has that little bustled effect. So there you go. 10 really quick, really easy ways to style the Carly. We absolutely love the Carly dress. We have so many for you to choose from in our boutique. Thank you guys, see you soon.